I'm Richard Clark. Ramana Maharshi's teachings are deep and profound. Listen each day to deepen your practice. Welcome. I'm reviewing and commenting on the book, Talks with Sri Ramana Maharshi. Today is from Talk 485, Part 4. In the course of the discourse, Sri Bhagavan also made a few points clearer. Abhyasa consists in withdrawal within the self every time you are disturbed by thought. It is not concentration or destruction of the mind, but withdrawal into the self. Yana, bhakti, yapa, etc. are aids to keep out the multiplicity of thoughts. A single thought prevails, which too eventually dissolves in the self. The questioner quoted that the mind starved of ideas amounted to realization and asked what the experience is in that state. He himself read out a passage from Mr. Brunton that it was indescribable. The answer was there. He again ventured out that it must be like looking through an unsilvered mirror as contrasted with the present experience corresponding to looking on a silvered mirror. Sri Bhagavan said that it was a mirror facing another clear mirror that is no reflection. In this dialogue, the questioner is seeking clarification about the nature of self-realization and how the mind functions in that state. Specifically, they are curious about what happens when the mind is devoid of thoughts and ideas, wondering what the experience feels like. They cite a passage from Paul Brunton, who describes this state as indescribable. And they further suggest that the mind in this state might resemble looking through an unsilvered mirror, looking into a mirror that does not reflect. Sri Ramana Maharshi responds by making a few key points. First, he clarifies that Abhyasa, spiritual practice, is not about forcibly concentrating or destroying the mind, but rather about consistently withdrawing into the self whenever disturbed by thoughts. This process is natural and not one of suppression. It is not a matter for strenuous practices. Rather, it involves becoming aware of the presence of a thought and gently turning inward, away from it, instead of chasing the thought, simply turning within to what is always present, the self. The mind does not need to be destroyed, only quieted by resting in the self. Ramana also explains the roles of different spiritual practices like dhyana, meditation, bhakti, devotion, and japa, repetition of a mantra. These practices all serve as tools to prevent the mind from getting caught up in too many thoughts. They are methods to maintain focus on a single thought, which eventually dissolves into the self, leaving behind the natural stillness. Regarding the mirror analogy, 
The questioner describes the difference between looking into a silvered mirror, which reflects the outside world, and an unsilvered mirror, which does not reflect. Ramana takes this further and suggests that the real experience of the mind in the state of self-realization is like two clear mirrors facing each other. In this case, there is no reflection at all. Nothing is being projected or reflected. In this, the mind is entirely free from ego and thoughts, perfectly still, with no external or internal disturbances. Ramana Maharshi's teachings here emphasize it that realization is not a complex experience. It is the state where there are no more reflections, projections, or distractions of the mind. The mind then becomes one with the self, and this self-knowledge reveals the natural, peaceful state that was always there. This is why it is described as indescribable. There is nothing left to perceive and no one left to describe it, only the pure awareness that is the self. So know yourself and be always free and at peace. In 40 verses on reality, Ramana Maharshi explains the nature of the self, the ultimate reality, and self-inquiry. My new book, with my comments and inquiry questions, opens these teachings up and brings them into your practice and experience. Available now from Amazon. Link in the video description. These videos bring Ramana's teachings into your direct experience. Click subscribe to see more. Click thumbs up to like and send questions and start a dialogue with the comments.